What is going on guys? In this YouTube video, I'm gonna be talking to you about FDA approval for Charlie's Holdings, and I'm gonna give you an update on my conversation with the CEO of Charlie's Holdings, Brandon Stump. Now then, let's get right into it. What exactly is FDA approval? So the Food and Drug Administration is responsible for public health in America, and before you can have any tobacco products on the market, you need FDA approval. So this FDA approval process ensures tobacco products, including those that are already in the market, undergo a robust scientific evaluation by the FDA, which is the Food and Drug Administration, because it allows them to ensure that it is healthy for public use. So what exactly happened on January the 15th, 2021, which was a few days ago, the FDA issued warning letters to 10 different companies that are selling e-liquids which did not have pre-market authorization. The deadline for pre-market authorization was September 9th, 2020. And as you can see over here, Charlie's Holdings submitted that before that deadline back in August, whereas these 10 companies, they didn't. And therefore, the FDA has issued warnings, as you can see in this article over here, suggesting that these while not suggesting ordering that these firms remove unauthorized e-liquid products from the market. And if they don't, there will be civil penalties and seizures slash injunctions, as you can see over here in this article. Failure to address these violations will result in regulatory actions such as civil money penalty complaint, uh, seizures or injunctions. Okay, guys. So that shows how important it is um, to do the pre-market tobacco application and get pre-market authorization. And if you haven't like these 10 companies, then your products will be taken off the market. And if you don't take them off the market, you will be penalized. So what does that mean for Charlie's Holdings? What that means is that Charlie's Holdings now has a bigger market share because a variety of e-liquids have been taken off the market. So um, even even if they you know, now try and get their act together, FDA approval typically takes six to eight months. So it will be another six to eight months of Charlie's Mark, Charlie's Holdings having great market share because they are close to getting pre-market authorization and FDA approval. So as you can see here, they already submitted their PMTA submission. So they are on their way to get FDA approval. And when they do, they will be allowed to sell all, to, all their products in America. Now then, um, again, it was end of August when they submitted it and it takes six to eight months. So that means, you know, it could be end of this month or next month sometime when they do finally get approval from the Food and Drug Administration. And when they do, they will be able to increase their revenues and also get more products, more visibility in America. Now then, um, the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is my conversations with the CEO, Brandon Stump. So as you can see here, um, I'm going to scroll up to the top. Brandon Stump is the chief executive officer at Charlie's Holdings. That is his profile. OK, it tells you all about Charlie's Holdings. He's been the CEO since 2019, but he started Charlie's Chalk Dust, which is a subsidiary all the way in 2014. So you guys can check out his profile yourselves. But anyway, I dropped him a message. I said, good morning, Mr. Stump from the UK. I want to introduce myself. I've done some due diligence on your organization. I do like Charlie's Holdings. However, I'm very concerned with the dump and sell off after the huge rise. Is this a pump and dump stock? You know, uh, please help me and the shareholders understand. You know, uh, we, we are very concerned. Why are you not releasing any PRs or letting us know about um, what's going on in the business? Uh, I also talked about the lack of social media presence, okay, um, because I do think for penny stocks, social media is very important for stakeholders to stay in touch with their organization. So it would be good if they were on Twitter, for example. Um, I discussed the catalyst that we're waiting for, FDA approval. Um, it would be crucial in improving sales, increasing interest in our product. Can you offer any update for me and all the other investors on when we will be able to get FDA approval. So um, he said, cheers, mate, nice video, because I sent him a link to my due diligence video. You can see that video up there. Just click that link, click that card, okay? Um, and he said, thanks for the support. Further updates are coming. So I don't know what that means. You can think of it how you will. You could take it however you like, 
but it mean to me it means that FDA approval is potentially coming soon. So I, I wanted a more detailed answer. So I said to him, you know, can you offer any kind of time scale? It would make us investors feel a lot safer. When can we expect to see the updates? Considering um, you're not on any social media, so where will we see the updates? Will it be a press release? Where will it be? So here's his next comment. Cash creator, you seem like a sharp guy. I hope you can appreciate my uh, position as CEO. I cannot share with you any information that I haven't already shared with the public, which is fair enough. Um, he suggested that he's put out various press releases and will continue to do so. He will also look into the Twitter idea that I suggested and now he's going back to work. So again, what does that mean? It means that, you know, we may be able to interact more with them if they open a Twitter, for example. Um, and they'll be able to put up updates saying, yes, we're getting FDA approval soon. But even if they don't, he said that they have put up press releases, they will continue to do so. So when they do get FDA approved, they will put it out there. So I do think there is nothing really to fear for everyone else. Okay, guys. Um, the next thing, finally, uh, should you invest in the stock? It's right now at zero point zero one four dollars. Okay, if you bought at a dip when it went all the way down to 0 0.012 and lower, it would have been amazing value. Um, but I do think, uh, as you can see here, 0 0.011, that was a big dip after that was a, after the huge rise right, rose to 0 0.035 and then there was a big sell-off. So I do think 0 0.014 is great value. Anything under 0 0.02 is good value in my opinion because it will rise over that long term in my opinion. Um, however, you do have to do your own due diligence, understand it for yourself, um, understand the stock, do you trust in it long term, uh, and then make a decision. But like I always say, whenever you buy, always buy in a dip. So um, it may rise on Tuesday. Tomorrow, we don't know. But there might be a dip, we don't know. Okay, we can only make predictions. But whatever you do, try and buy in a dip. And if it goes up, uh, always remember to take profits. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe to the Cash Creator.